from House of Colour, Tayside and Fife and I'm here to help you look and feel fabulous without the fast fashion fix. Welcome back to my video series on how to go shopping in your own wardrobe to recreate outfits that you've found online. Now have you ever been scrolling through your social media or the website of your favourite retailer and found an amazing outfit that you just have to have in your life and you've then gone on to buy it? Of course you have, you're a human being, that is what we do. But have you ever paused to consider that you may already have items in your wardrobe that you could style to recreate that outfit? When we're scrolling through these images, we always feel that our own wardrobes are completely inadequate and that we have nothing to wear. But actually, our wardrobes are full of stuff, full of potential, and that is what I'm here to do today. I'm here to help you reconnect with what's already in your wardrobe and to appreciate what you have before feeling like you have to go out and buy something new. So let's get started. So today's outfit is going to be inspired by Rebecca Peters, who I think is based in Nottingham in the UK. And she's on Instagram as at Rebecca L Peters. I'll put the link in there so that you can check her out. And she's a designer who specializes in reworking vintage clothing. And her, she sells her pieces through her website and through Depop and ASOS Marketplace. I adore her style. It's so unique because everything that she wears is a one-off. And I think this outfit in particular is really cool. I think this would work for all areas of my life, work, leisure, and importantly, it's practical and warm and comfortable, which are really important elements for me. Also, I really like the fact that this is quite a bold look, but it's very effortless in its execution. Now, I can't copy Rebecca's exact look because I don't have all of these pieces in my wardrobe, but what I am gonna do is break down her look into three steps so that I can then go into my wardrobe and pick out pieces that I can use to recreate the overall look of this outfit. So the first step is colour, and we can see that Rebecca is wearing a mix of neutrals, black and white, combined with a bold red. Now, this is a high contrast bold look, which is further emphasised by the red lipstick that she's wearing and also the sleek dark bob that she has. Now, these particular colours are great for those of you whose seasonal colour palette is winter, such as me. Now, if winter is not your own seasonal colour palette, you can still make this look work for you by looking at the dark and light neutrals in your own colour palette combined with one of your points of red or another bolder colour. The second step that I look at is style. What are the words that I would use to describe the overall look of this outfit? So I would say that this look is effortlessly chic. It looks really put together and it also has a very strong vintage vibe, which is unsurprising as Rebecca Peters wears solely vintage clothing, I think. I also feel that the outfit is quite androgynous. It has elements of both feminine and masculine in it. I also feel that there's an element of quirkiness to this outfit, particularly with the cute handbag. For those of you who've had your House of Colour style consultation, you can refer to the wardrobe words that your consultant gave you for inspiration on how to describe the different styling elements in an outfit. So when I go into my own wardrobe, I will be looking for pieces that are chic, vintage and feel, androgynous and quirky. So step three is fit and finish. And that's where we look at how the clothes are fitted to the body and what the finishing touches are that pull the whole outfit together. So let's have a look at the fit first of all. I feel that this outfit has a neat and tidy look, but it does have a slightly relaxed fit to it. The whole body is covered up, but Rebecca has created a cinched waist with her trousers and her belt. Another interesting element is that from the top down, we have a red hat, then we have black hair, then we have red jumper, and then we have black trousers. And these are creating horizontal lines in the outfit. And I feel that these lines are in contrast to the circles on the bag. Let's have a look at the finishing touches. Well, most detail is in the top half of the body. The neckline is closed and high, but it's soft rather than being tight. The jumper is totally tucked in, and the trousers are high-waisted, and I love that little notch detail on the waist. That's such a cool detail. Rebecca has used smooth fabrics that are helping to create a neat, sleek look. 
Now you can't see her shoes in this picture, but I am imagining that a pair of white patent boots would look super cool with this. So let's have a look at her accessories. First of all, she's wearing a red hat, which tones with the jumper. She's wearing these white statement sunglasses, which really add to the vintage vibe. Her belt is black, which is the same color as the trousers. And the bag is small and structured, neutral colors, black and white, and it's quite playful in terms of the round print on it and also the round shaped handle. In terms of jewelry, I think that she's wearing one ring, but there's no other jewelry. So this is quite a minimalist look in terms of accessories. So let's have a look and see what I have that could work to put this outfit together. So the foundations of this outfit really are the trousers and jumper. And I'm off to a good start because I already have a pair of black trousers in my wardrobe. They're not the same style or fit as Rebecca's, but I think it's gonna be okay, I'll make it work. Now in terms of a jumper, now I don't have a red jumper, but I do have this absolutely gorgeous pink one, which I got from Nearly New Cashmere, which is based in Yorkshire. I'll put their link in so that you can check them out. They've got loads of gorgeous stuff. I don't have a red hat, but I do have this really cute dark grey wool berry, which is handmade by Jo Amy Knitwear in Dundee. And this is gorgeous, so I'm gonna wear this. I also don't have a bag like Rebecca's, but I think what's important is to use a small, structured, playful bag that tones with the rest of the outfit. And I have this gorgeous little pink bag that I got as a birthday present from my sister-in-law. Thanks, Michelle. And what I've done is I've customized the bag with these cat collar pins to give it a quirky look that I feel is in keeping with the outfit. So I'm gonna go get changed. So here's the finished look. I love it. I decided to add more detail to the outfit by using the caps on the bag as inspiration. So I've pinned a cat brooch to my jumper. I'm wearing a cat necklace. And of course, I have the evil kitty buckle on my belt. I really love these extra quirky details and I think it's important when you're recreating an outfit that you add in elements to make it your own. I don't have white patent boots to finish off the outfit, so I've used black patent loafers instead, which I feel emphasise the neat, chic vibe of the look. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and why not leave a comment below to let me know what you thought about the outfit and also whether you're feeling inspired to go shopping in your own wardrobe. Don't forget to subscribe to the House of Colour channel to be notified of any new videos. I look forward to seeing you in my next video, but in the meantime, please stay safe and take care. Ooh.